The first two B-21 Raider bombers, which will eventually be able to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons are nearly mechanically complete, but still won't fly until 2022. The U.S. Air Force's bomber program, designed to field a replacement for the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit by the late 2020s, is on track. That's a rarity in the world of military hardware procurement. Still, Congress is calling on the service to accelerate the program, U.S. Air Force isn't budging. Once we get through design and get the first ones delivered, we can adjust production rates and maybe affect them that way. But we have to get through the engineering with solid discipline, Air Force Acting Acquisition Executive Darlene Costello said during a House Armed Services panel on June. One major reason the Air Force doesn't want to speed up the B-21 program is that, while the bombers are almost mechanically complete, the service has not yet solidified the overall design for the larger fleet. The service is concerned that speeding things up could introduce concurrency issues. That's a circumstance in which an aircraft is built before the design is finalized. The Air Force intentionally introduced concurrency with the F-35 fighter to make planes available to pilots sooner, with the idea that the service would eventually update the early production jets to match the final hardware and software standard. Concurrency indeed got pilots into F-35 cockpits faster, but it also created the nightmare of hundreds of jets worldwide, built to different hardware and software standards. As a result, the military required billions of dollars in additional funding to bring the fighters up to the final standard. Although the Air Force is eager to get the B-21 Raider flying, it would prefer not to repeat such a complex and expensive headache again. When the United States introduced the B-2 stealth bomber 30 years ago, its ability to escape on-the-ground radar detection gave the country a huge aerial tactical advantage over its opposition. The gap widened significantly on Tuesday with a statement that the U.S. Air Force plans to roll out a B-21 with deadlier high-tech features than ever before. The driving force behind the upgrades, a result of a tandem project between the U.S. Air Force and aerospace defense contractor Northrop Grumman is a whole new innovative line of software that can help B-21 pilots deliver payloads faster and with more accuracy. It's all done courtesy of integrated computer automation systems that streamline and organize all the pertinent information flyers need to complete their missions. Granted, the onboard features on most fighter aircraft are supposed to do that anyway, but here's where the new technology differs. The new software uses a process called virtualization in which the software enables the hardware to perform a multiple of varied functions simultaneous in real time to sort out, streamline, automate and organize that information faster and in a more comprehensive fashion. The result is the pilots get all that necessary information, from the status of jet functions to battle zone conditions, in such a way that speeds up informed decision making. AI technology can weed out all the less pertinent information affecting flight performance and take on more monitoring tasks to allow the fighter's human occupants to concentrate more on the mission. The technology is designed to cut down on distractions that might hamper the focus pilots need when deciding how to avoid enemy gunfire and destroy their targets. The Air Force has classified any specific details on how these new systems will operate. The only thing that's public about these high-tech additions is the concept behind them. But be prepared to bone up on new tech lingo, like containerized software, which has to do with multiple streamlining of simultaneous functions on the B-21. There's also application containerization, which uses virtualization to deploy applications distributed throughout the aircraft. But all that software development and integration is part of the Air Force's new plan to bring next-generation weapons technology rolling out of planes as soon as possible. In short, the newly stacked B-21 is only the beginning. It's also expressed a strong interest in a future fleet of 225 heavy bombers. The Air Force currently has 158 bombers, with 62 B-1 Lancer bombers, 20 B-2 Spirit bombers, and 76 B-52H Stratofortress bombers. The B-21 will replace the B-1 and B-2, while the B-52H will fly on through at least the 2040s, if not into the 2050s. In order to reach a future fleet of 225 bombers, the service would need 149 B-21 Raider bombers. That's nearly a 50% increase in demand, up from the Air Force's original plans to buy about 100 of the planes for a maximum of $665 million.